New aircraft, new special weapons, new paint schemes and new emblems will be added to Ace Combat 7 in the upcoming DLC or the season pass according to the new trailer that was posted yesterday by Bandai. In this video let's go over the news, what will be added, when it will be added and some implications to the gameplay as we go over this trailer analysis of the season pass trailer. And just to be clear this video will not talk about the upcoming single player DLC missions because we don't have any information on those yet. As always link to the original video will be in the description but right off the bat we see the first aircraft being showcased is the ADF 11F Raven. Yes, that UAV that you see in the last mission of Ace Combat 7 is now a playable aircraft in the upcoming DLC. You see that in their intro, it was made by Grand Industries, the Balkan company that was involved in a couple past Ace Combat games, just explaining to the new players, and also as the Russian Air and Space Administration. This reflects that the aircraft was still at a prototype stage, not really flying in combat unless, you know, that specific mission in Ace Combat 7. After showcasing some of its nice design with the flybys, we get to see some of the special weapons that can be equipped with the Raven. The first one is the TLS, the Tactical Laser System, which is already in Ace Combat 7. When we see its activations, we get this nice moment where we can grab a nice screenshot. If you see on the bottom right, you can see that the Raven can carry 150 standard missiles. That's macros levels of missiles, and you can see that it has allowance for an activation of the TLS of up to 30 Times. More interestingly, instead of having the gun that was replaced by the post lasers, this is the first time this happens in any Ace Combat game, with the exception of Ace Combat 3, because that stuff is in the future and it just gets crazy. Now, replacing the gun with the post lasers, that's supposed to be a really good, or at least overpowered, setup, because the post lasers have more range than the gun and also deal more damage. At least assuming that they're keeping the same stats and the post layer is already in the game. With that I can see the post layers is being used in the single player mode of a game to break the high scores in combination with the other special weapons that the Raven is packing and that's going to be a nightmare to fight in multiplayer. Balancing is probably going to be an issue. And the second special weapon that was added to the Raven was the UAVs, the unmanned area vehicles. Because prior to Aces was like, yo, I know you like aircraft, so we put aircraft in your aircraft that can go after enemy aircraft, if that makes sense. Now, this is the first in the Ace Combat series, although the concept was already there in Ace Combat 6 and Ace Combat Infinity. That was limited to enemy AI controlling the UAVs. Now, you are able to send off yours. Now, we don't know exactly how powerful or how effective they will be. I suppose they can go after both air targets and ground targets, but it's important to note there will be some parts that are able to enhance the performance of the UAVs, as I mentioned in another video of mine talking about the data mining of Ace Combat 7. The third special weapon for the Raven, it's not shown in the trailer, but I found it in the Ace Combat official website, and that is going to be the QAMs. Yes, the QAMs with the Raven, that's gonna be insane in multiplayer. Onwards to the next aircraft, which is the ADF-01 Falcon. This one was also made by Gunner Industries, but flew for the Ocean Air Defense Force. This is a classic aircraft from the Ace Combat series, being first shown in Ace Combat 2, but being featured a lot in the previous games. That's where the design of the Raven comes from, by the way. I gotta say, the cockpit view from the Falcon, it looks so much better than the last Ace Combat game, which was Ace Combat Infinity. Because in Ace Combat Infinity, it was just dark and dull, and now it's bright and clear. The animation of your aircraft rotating is very cool, but there's so much more contrast to look at. You can see the special weapons that it's equipped with the, you know, the missiles and also the four AAMs, and it's just overall much better than in Ace Combat Infinity. For the special weapons of the Falcon, the first one is the Tactical Laser System, which is already in the game, but the cool thing about the Falcon is that when you use it, it's kind of like your plane becomes Pac-Man because it needs to open its mouth to fire the laser. Laser, which is the only blue continuous laser in Ace Combat 7, when all the others are red. And then we see the footage of the four Falcons firing their laser at the same time, which is like, where is your god now? And the last special weapon of the Falcon is the Fuel Air Explosive Bombs. And those of you who have played previous Ace Combat games know that this bomb is insane because it kinda is like a nuke because it injects a lot of fuel over the area and has a very large blast radius. 
And the last aircraft to be seen in the trailer is the ADFX-01 Morgan all the way from Ace Combat Zero. You can see it was flown by the Balkan Air Force and also the Ustian Air Force. What I thought it was interesting was the paint scheme of the aircraft because he has the pixie colors with the red right wing of the aircraft but interestingly he has the markings and numbers of Cypher, the 032 and also the markings of the Ustian Air Force. I'm not sure if the project is gonna have one version of the Balkan colors but uh, you get this kind of mixed paint in the trailer. Every single aircraft in this trailer is carrying the TLS because it's a classic, but you see that they all have different shapes and size. It's the evolution of the TLS. You can see the very unique design in the ADFX Morgan, placed right above the two engines, right in the center of the aircraft. This is also the oldest aircraft, so it makes sense why it's the biggest one. And the next special weapon is the Integrated Electronic Warfare System, which acts as a jammer to decrease the accuracy of enemy missiles or be able to completely make them useless. At the same time, you see in the trailer that it says ESM Active or Electronic Support Measure, meaning that you can probably increase or enhance your allies' missiles' performances to have better homing, possibly better damage, when shooting down enemy aircraft. Now I don't suppose this is going to be much difference in the single player mode of the game because your allies are kind of useless, but in multiplayer you, that's very interesting because people flying the ADFX with this special weapon might be you know, the support of the team. And again, this was not in the Ace Combat 7, in the base game, so new additions of a new uh, special weapon. Let's see how that mechanic will work out in multiplayer. And last but not least, the multi-purpose burst missile. Yes, this is another nuke, but this time you can use it against air targets. The thing is with the MPBM, you don't even have to hit the enemy like exactly. You just get it close enough and you are able to make destruction in the game. And I do wonder how effective that's going to be in the multiplayer mode. And one small thing I noticed on the Morgan's cockpit is that it has a functional heading indicator. These are the three upcoming playable aircraft, let me know which one you are more excited to play with. But let's also talk about some other things that are coming. New paint schemes and also new emblems. The first paint scheme shown in the trailer is the Sukhoi 30 SM Mihai paint scheme and also the Sukhoi 30 M2 Soul skin. The other one is the F-22 Mobius skin, back from the classic hero from Ace Command 4. And also we have the Mihai paint scheme for the XO2 Strike Wyvern. And now let's talk about the release dates of these DLCs. The first one is the Raven Pack that will come on May the 22nd. We have the Raven, the Mobius F-22 skin and some few emblems, such as the Phoenix, Garuda, Mobius, Griffiths and Low Visibility Mobius. The second DLC set comes on June the 26th. It has the Falcon, the Sukhoi 30 M2 Soul skin and also has the emblems for War Dog, Scarface, the Heroes of Rosgris and the Ghosts of Rosgris. The third DLC comes on July the 31st with the Morgan and also has the XO2 Strike Wyvern Mihai skin together with the Sukhoi 30 Mihai skin. Skin. It also has the emblems of the GOM Squadron, the head of the GOM Squadron, and then the low visibility of the GOM Squadron, and the original Phoenix emblem back from Ace Combat 1. And that is the information that I've got to you as a reminder. If you already got the deluxe edition of the game, you're getting the season pass, which includes all these three DLCs plus the three story missions DLCs, but you can also purchase them separately if you want. At the time of recording of this video, the only pricing information we have for each specific DLC is 500 yen, but that of course only applies to Japan. No information on the cost of each DLC in North America or EO is available yet. So these are the deals, let me know what you think about the upcoming DLC or the season pass with the information we have so far. As for the specific single player DLC missions that are going to be added, according to Kono on Twitter from his tweet right there, it, they're supposed to be released after the aircraft DLCs are already out. So it's going to take some time, which is one of the things that I'm a little bit sad about these DLCs is that they do take time to get out there. But anyway, now you're informed on the news, you know what to expect. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.